Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a simple, I mean simple as in two eyeshadows, simple look. I'm not doing my f entire face cause I already did my face. So what I'm gonna show you is just the eyes and just the eyeshadow. Hold on. What I used was the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Palette. Oh, you guys, I love, love this palette. It's so good. You guys will hear my thoughts about it in the video. <sighs> my favorite palette as of right now. At this very moment, I don't know what time it is. I don't have my watch on, but at this very moment, this is my favorite palette, hands down. Too Faced did a great job with this. But anywho, welcome if you're new. I ramble a ton. On here I do makeup tutorials, makeup videos, anything that I like, I do on here. So if that is something that you're interested in, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, so you are notified every time that I upload. By the way, I upload every Thursday and Sunday. So that's my schedule, so you know for future reference. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, it's just the eyeshadow, nothing else. And it's super quick, super easy. And you know I like to say super a lot. Anywho's, all right guys, enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the link below. Not the link, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell, that's it. Hey you guys, so we are here today so I can show you a tutorial on just this Too Faced The Natural Nudes palette. I've already primed my eyes and I've set them. So I've done the rest of my makeup. So the only thing I haven't done is my eyes. So we are gonna do that now. And I'm gonna clip my hair back and so it doesn't get in the way. There we go. All right, so the first color that I'm gonna go in with, it's gonna be such a natural look. You're gonna probably be using just two shadows out of here. And if you're wondering what that arm is there, it's my daughter. But anyways, <laughs> she, um, I mean, not she. The first color that I'm gonna be using is this color right here, and it's called Seashell. So I'm gonna take this Morphe JH32 brush, and it looks like that. So I'm gonna take that color. Okay, you guys, so I had to put you on my tripod because this was not working out for nothing. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna use the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, JH32 brush, and I'm gonna go in with the color Seashell, which is right there. And I'm gonna just put that as a transition shade on my entire lid on both eyes. So this, this look that I'm doing is basically what I do all the time. It's something neutral, something just kind of to, just to get you by, you know what I mean? And it's super neutral and super quick at that. It takes me longer to do my face makeup than it does this eye look. So, like I said in my Sephora haul, I love this palette. This palette is so good, so pigmented. The, the colors are super buttery. I love to wear this any time of the day. Like if I had to choose just one palette, honestly, I'm going to say I would choose that one. Like if I was on a desert, deserted island and I had to choose just one palette, it would probably be that one. Just because it's, like I said, it's just so good. So good. Trust me on this. It's so good. And I'm just going to go back and forth and in circular motions, then back just win windshield wiper motions. And I'm just going to go back and forth with this color. And it's, it's funny because the simplest, quickest eye looks are probably the ones that you get the most compliments on. So 
so you guys just so you know this friday i hope that you i'm sure all of you guys have instagram i'm going live on instagram me and my friend are doing our five favorite friday finds and i really want you guys to come i will have my instagram and her instagram down below so you can go check out either one you're probably already following her if you didn't know about her her name is caption the fashion and she does obviously fashion on her um on her channel so i want you guys to go watch and see what her favorite friday finds are and my favorite friday finds and we're going to be doing this every friday obvi it's called friday finds <laughs> all right this is getting to the color that we want it to be so i've been getting some new subscribers so before i continue i wanted to say to these new subscribers welcome to my channel i really am super excited every time i get an email that i got a new subscriber because i'm like oh people want to watch me so i'm really happy about that so thank you so anyways let's get back to the tutorial oh pelo. so the next color i'm going to be taking is going to be this color called petal right there and i'm going to distribute this all over my lids i was going to say lenses it's the optician in me <laughs> that's literally going to be it and then we're going to be done and the color also the color that i have on my lips and i've never worn it before and i love it look how natural it doesn't even look like i have anything on my lips but it's the kathleen and color pop no it's the kathleen lights and color pop ultra glossy lip in the color Moonchild, which is that right there such a pretty color so neutral i'm like all about the neutral look nowadays i don't know why anyways next i see i can ramble and then i'll you guys will sit here and say you're making no sense why are you even talking about that i don't know because i ramble like my middle name should be ramble anyways the next brush that i'm going to be using is the sedona lace brush in 940 941 that's what it looks like it's like a flat shader brush and then i'm gonna take that petal color i hope it goes on Oh, it does. I like. It's like a pinky nude color. I really like it. You can add glitter on top of this or a shimmer color, but I'm going to keep it simple and neutral. So. My eyelids are so wrinkly. <laughs> I'm not even that old. I'm going to kind of stamp it into the crease as well. Like you guys see right there, I'm stamping it into the crease. That's what I want. Look how neutral it looks. I love it. I'm sorry if you guys hear my kids in the background. Like mom life, let me know if you know what I mean. You, when you're trying to do something and you want them to be quiet and you tell them, hey, I'm going to film the video, so stay quiet. And they're in the background yelling and screaming. See, you guys, this is super quick and easy. Stamp it in the crease. Hope you guys are doing well with this whole coronavirus going around. It's, I feel so bad for all the people who either have gotten it or have family members that do have it or have gotten it. You almost feel so helpless. I have a family member who has it and it's, I'm not even gonna go into who it is, but I feel so bad. And when I spoke to him, I heard in his voice how he was trying to just get a simple word out and he couldn't even do that without hacking up a lung. It was, it's so sad. And I really didn't have anybody close to me who had it. So I was always taking precaution about it and for it. And now that I have a family member who actually has it and is suffering from that, but 
you know, he's in such good spirits about it. And I thank God for that. You know, it's just super sad. So I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and I hope you guys are staying home. And I know it's hard to stay home, including for myself. You know, I'm a single mom of four kids and my kids range from the ages of 15 to seven. So every day I've had to work every single day because I'm in the medical field. So I have had to work every single day since this all started. And, you know, it's been scary. It has been scary, but I have to keep my faith and my trust in God and know, just know and pray that I'm covered, that my kids are covered, my family members are covered. And even though one of my family members has the coronavirus, I still am praying for him and I still believe that God is going to heal him from it. So I think, you know, just one person praying for somebody can make a world of a difference. So if you guys have somebody you know who's close to you that has it, just pray for them because maybe they don't know. You know, just pray for them. Continue to pray for them. Don't just pray for them one time. You have to continue to pray for them. And, you know, God hears everybody's prayers. Nobody's prayers are gone by the wayside. Nobody's. God hears all of them. Okay. So that's enough with that color. And I hope you guys can see it. It's super simple and super easy. So next I'm going to be taking the Morphe M431. And it's just that little pointer brush. And I'm going to be taking the color seashell again. And I'm going to put this bottom lash line. So that's what the bottom lash line looks like. You can add a winged eyeliner if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it a little bit more glam. I'm not gonna do that only because I'm, I want this look to be simple and I want everybody to be able to do it. So it's, like I said, it's super easy and it's super quick. So right now I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. You can just do mascara or you can throw some, uh, okay, some false so on. here is the finished look. I don't have false lashes on and I don't have any eyeliner on so I just threw mascara on and this is the final look like I said it's so simple it's so easy to do anybody can do this look so I hope you guys enjoyed it give it a huge thumbs up if you did don't think that I have anything else to say except stay beautiful inside and out and don't forget to go catch me and my friend caption the fashion live with our Friday five favorites. Our five Friday favorites. That's a tongue twister to say. Say that five times, okay? Bye guys.